The site overview activity allows the user to examine a specific site in detail. In the information widget, you are provided with current figures for the site, with a percentage figure showing an increase or decrease from previous period. Beneath that is the benchmark category and the floor area. There will be a link to add these if they are not currently present on your site. Any site property keys are shown and the latest memo on that site is also visible. To the right are the site contact details and address as well as a map of the location. The information section has a settings option in which the period for the site figures can be changed. If you would prefer an image instead of a map, then on the settings just ensure the overview image is set to if available. Here you can see the settings menu that you have. Change that to if available and now an image will display if it is present on that particular site. Select OK when you're happy with your settings. Each widget on the site overview can be maximised to full screen size, as you can see here. Minimise the widget when you want to go back to the site overview. The performance widget will show how the current site is performing against the best and worst site on the database for the same benchmark category. The settings allow you to change the type of comparison, such as cost or by floor area. Select OK once you've changed your settings to update. The events widget seen in the middle of the screen to the left works in exactly the same way as the widget on the dashboard. However, it will only show you the events for that site. The settings allow you to change the period and types of events that you want to view. As shown here on the screen, you can choose what you level of event you want, the overview period, and you have tick boxes to choose whether to ignore, show ignored events or only show queried events. Select OK and the events widget will update. Just below that is the targets widget. The target widget allows you to see all the targets that have been set up for that site and it has the option to add in a new type of target. There is a choice of period targets, QSUM targets and regression based targets. To the right at the bottom is the consumption graphs. The consumption graphs will scroll through all available commodities based on monitoring point types, electricity, gas, water heating and lighting. In the settings you can change the amount of months to be displayed. At the top on the toolbar there is navigation through to analysis, queries and regression. The regression will take you through to QSUM for this particular